Okay, this is the second test. I've made a jig and um, I've taught the CNC machine how to drill the holes for the track pads. Something to remember that I didn't know about is when using the teach it remembers what you did last time. So all the commands for when I was cutting, it was when I was drilling the wood the other night, they were still in the file. And as you can probably guess, that didn't result in too good a, a situation. So I had to quickly stop the operation of the machine. So I emptied out the file and I've um, reprogrammed it up. Okay, here we go. I'm going to first kit the spindle in. I'm going to get it to do a run of of the piece that I've already drilled and check that that works out okay. If that works out okay then I'm going to load it up with another piece of track and uh, we'll see how we go from there. So fingers crossed. I'm just going to start the spindle up. I've got the spindle at uh, centre. Okay. Here we go. Okay. The machine is set and it starts in the home position. It's now going to proceed to uh, dropping the drill bit down in front of the centre of the track. Oh no, sorry, sorry, I've started it. Not bang in the middle of the track. Okay, it's going to start with the furthest left hole, and it's going to slowly work its way across. Okay. I should have a securing point at the centre of the side, really. This should work out all right, to be honest with you. Okay, on the second row, it's going to come back and do the second row in reverse. Z to the top, and then it's going to present us with the work that we've just done. So it's returning the Z. And it's presenting us with the work. Yeah, that's meant. Brilliant, that is. Okay. I'm now going to load it up with the next piece of track then.